Hello, welcome to another Artist Alley vlog. It's around 7.30, 7.40ish, and I'm currently doing some last minute packing that I couldn't get prepped before, and I'm gonna be leaving around nine o'clock. Gotta drop my keys off because you know here uh, is on a wet food only diet, so I'm having a friend feed her while I'm gone since Ben, my partner, is also out of town. Yeah, I'm going to get into this con with like zero expectations. It's a first year convention. It's ran by people with a shitload of experience though. So I suppose that's one thing you can be optimistic about. Like they did Riverwalk Anime, Anime 405, I think, and a bunch of other cons. But yeah, safe to just go into the con with zero expectations so I don't get disappointed. And if I make a profit, I make a profit, that's good. And if I don't, at least I got my name out there. My expenses are around $700. I'll put the exact number on screen right here. So it's kind of hefty. I didn't, I didn't mention this, but it's in Milwaukee, so it's not a local con. So I had to get an Airbnb for me and my friend Logan, who is helping me this weekend to stay. Uh, it's a really cute Airbnb. It's got like a cool little loft in it and everything. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be about a five hour drive, which isn't really that bad. But yeah, I am just doing some last minute packing, like I said, and then we'll be on the road. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't mention as well is the con is only um, Saturday and Sunday. So it's Friday today and it's just when all the setups of the vendors and the attractions and stuff are going on. So that's a bit different. It's gonna be my first two day convention ever. It's kind of weird, but I suppose they want to start out with two days rather than going balls deep and doing three right away, which makes sense. It's at the Bard Center in Milwaukee. And this is my first time ever going to be in Milwaukee, despite living in Minnesota all my life. There's just, since the Twin Cities are right there, there's no real reason to go to Milwaukee. I'm going to put some stuff in my car and then I'll probably head out. So. Here's my booth. There's a little being stupid. Um, we're right next to all the food vendors, which I forgot to mention. So that's exciting. Hopefully it attracts a lot of people. That's gonna be the gaming area. And then I think that's gonna be tabletop. So yeah. Both Logan and I are excited to walk around and look at all the other artists, so. Yeah, this is my new time using this and this in a con, so that's exciting. This is a little heavy and it's causing this to fall, but we'll manage. But we're gonna close up, go to the Airbnb and probably eat, and then I'll check back in later. Okay, this is our Airbnb. I think so. <laughs> um, 
Here's the like main bedroom. This is where Logan will be staying. Um, I got this cool little loft with a desk and then I'll be sleeping up there. Um, it's really pretty. This is like the best Airbnb we've probably been at. However, there is something kind of spooky. I'll show you in a bit. Here's the bathroom. Um, there's this, <laughs> I put this battery here for a reason. Horrifying ass trap door that's not even locked up. That just, it leads to the catacombs. What is that? So I'm putting my battery here so no demons fucking kill us. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the big ones are 25 and the small ones are 10. And it's buy two, get one half off. Uh, that's okay. There's no little ones. Cash or card? Okay. <laughs> Tax, it'll be $26.25. You want the top sealed? Yes. Okay. Here you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> he was like so uninterested the entire time. I was like, but apparently he was. I guess so. Unenthused. <laughs> Not Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of video games and anime, so. Did you guys, did you guys draw these? I drew all of them, yeah. You drew these. Yeah. <laughs> Dad does not have an artist. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> See, that's the kind of praise that gets me all warm and fuzzy. Yeah. The dad praise yeah. with his kids, that's crazy. You can tell him like Dragon Ball though. Yeah. Which is what I was saying, it's like, it's a really I should, big but crowd. Like, I wouldn't want to either, but... Whenever you draw a Dragon Ball character, you kind of have to draw them and in Toriyama style. style. Yeah. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of it. And like, that's how I started kind of drawing anime-esque, was drawing in a Dragon Ball style. Like, I used to just redraw screen caps all the time. But it's just... I can appreciate it, but it's not my thing. Right. Sense. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I mean, you know I get it. I don't copy stuff. I always do my style. I... I'm surprised there's like, we haven't even seen one Yakuza though. Normally I see like a Yakuza cosplayer at least once. That's not. Normally I'm odd. I mean, that guy could be Ishiban right there. He's wearing just the red suit. Oh yeah. But it, he's wearing a black t-shirt underneath, so I don't know. Yeah. I haven't seen Persona either. Yeah. My two faves. <laughs> I'm mad about it. Okay. One, two. Breaking Zawa. Da 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 da. Tenderness. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> da 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 da. Tenderness. Well, the rest is in Japanese. That's it, harder for me to memorize. <laughs> da 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 da. Tenderness. Do you know it? No. Exactly. It's been a camping funny. <laughs> Are you? I can't tell if this man is supposed to be Ichiban. Huh. I have had like Ichiban cosplayers that are just like in his suit. I mean, Ichiban is Filipino. I didn't mean all that. <laughs> <laughs> These two? Three. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is that with cash? Okay, it'll be 25. And then I threw my business card in there too. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> No cloud and light. Pikmin. <laughs> Leave me alone. 122.
So it is the beginning of day two. Yesterday we just broke even. So today is going to be nothing but profit. So that's good. It's not going to be super crazy, I don't think, but I'm really liking the new setup a lot. It's 9.22. VIPs get in at 9.30. I added a little tip jar, which I think people have been finding entertaining. So that's good. Yeah. And a really good turnout for first year con. I think yesterday was probably over a thousand people and I saw a number of Saturday only badges. So hopefully there's a decent amount of Sunday only badges. So. <laughs> Just 707 though? Okay. With tax, it's gonna be 1375. Do you like the top of the bag sealed? There you guys go, thank you so much. Oh my God, we're matching. <laughs> Can I give the shadow? Yeah. <laughs> The big one? Yeah. Okay. okay. It's a print sleeve, like it doesn't have a handle. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Cash your card. The tax it'll be twenty six twenty five. Either on the back or like on the corner of it. You want to sign it mm -hmm. for me? Ooh. Where did my mother go? <laughs> get the car the con ended it's pretty good we made back all the expenses and a tiny bit extra it was nothing crazy like I said I went into this con with absolutely zero expectations I'd say the turnout was pretty decent for a first year I think most attendees probably spent their money on voice actors and things of the like but yeah I'm on my way back to go and get my car bring it over to the loading bay, pack everything up, and then it's a five hour drive home. So we're gonna stop and get some food probably at McDonald's because we've been craving it, we have a problem. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna go back next year. Plus with my normal job, I just might not even be able to. But 2 Con is in a week, two weeks. And I will of course vlog that as well, so. Here's the line currently to get in to the loading dock, which is very unfortunate. So I did do some art trades during the convention. First one right here is this link by D Laser Art, and it's so beautiful. I love it so so much. Thank you. Next one is by my lovely Eggy Boy, one of my very good friends. Thank you for the trade. And then this one is super cute and super creative. It's by Maya. Thank you so much. 
And this one, oh my god, when I saw this, I know I told you, Emmy, but like I freaked the fuck out because Yakuza art. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. But I'd say in total, Anime Forum 4 was, I mean, it was nothing groundbreaking. I made a little bit of money. I'm glad I didn't lose money, but I probably won't be returning for a while unless if the con gets really big. It also had some organization issues, but that can be kinked out normally with just more time. But I hope all the best for the con, and I know they got even better guests for this year. So if you're in the area, it's a pretty good con to go to, and I'd recommend it. But yeah, expect the 2D con vlog up sometime soon. Sorry, these vlogs took me so, so long to get out. School's been very, very crazy. Uh, I'm gonna be graduating in two semesters, which is insane. <laughs> But yeah, once I am done with school, there will be just more videos in general from me, more content, more me at conventions. Hopefully I can start flying. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you at the 2D Con vlog.